Here are two celebrities arriving in New York. Now, you may not recognize them right away, but you will in a few minutes, because they're the two lucky young people who will be married today on Bride and Groom. <laughs> This portion of Bride and Groom is brought to you by the Brillo Manufacturing Company, makers of new Brillo soap pads that give you twice the shine in half the time. Welcome to Bride and Groom. Byron Palmer is with our couple, so let's join him now and meet them, shall we? Thank you, Bob. Today's young couple are Honey Dubin and Harold Greer. Now, first of all, let's find out about that name. Now, is that a nickname or is that your real name? No, I'm afraid that's my real name. Well, then you're one girl that I can call honey all I want to, right? Without people thinking I'm being forward? Oh, definitely. Good. And uh, now you really did arrive in New York like celebrities, didn't you? Oh, we had a wonderful trip. On a big Trans World Airlines plane. There you are right now. And then your picture was taken with the stewardess. And what was her name, incidentally, oh, honey? Oh, Casey Condon. And while the photographers were snapping your picture, another celebrity appeared and she greeted you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that, honey? Jane Mansfield. Absolutely, none other. And she arrived from Hollywood yesterday morning via TWA. Now, she got interested in your romance, but she couldn't be here today because she left for Europe to attend openings of her new 20th Century Fox picture, Kiss Them For Me, in which she stars with Cary Grant. Now, honey, is she really as glamorous in person as she is in pictures? Oh, she was very beautiful. Of course, I didn't recognize her at first with her coat on. <clears throat> yes. Well, now, did you uh, enjoy your flight on TWA? Oh, we had a luxurious trip. You did. By the way, how was that fabulous dinner at uh, Paul Taubman's Penthouse Club last night? Well, at the Penthouse Club, we really got to see all of New York because not only was the food delicious, but the view was great. Yeah, and that's so true, isn't it? Well, now let's find out about you two. Uh, honey, tell us about yourself first, if you would. Well, I'm 22 years old. And I'm employed at the Liberty Mutual Insurance Company as a sales agent. And I attend the University of Southern California's in the evening, working on my English degree. Very good. And Harold, uh, tell us your life story in capsule form, that is. Certainly. I'm 25, uh, an engineer at Northrop Aircraft Corporation uh, in the Fluid Dynamics Department. Currently, I'm going to uh, Southern California evening as a graduate student, working for a master's degree. Very good, Harold. Now, honey, what about your romance? How did that start? Well, uh, my girlfriend and I, uh, one year ago, July, went up to Yosemite on a little camping trip. And uh, I was interested in taking some pictures. So we uh, attempted to climb up to Yosemite Falls, which to the very top of Yosemite Peak. Well, she got tired and came down halfway, but I decided I'd better go up to the top to get my pictures. Well, I was about 15 minutes or so from the top when... I think because I wasn't wearing the proper shoes, I slipped on a rock mm -mm. and twisted my ankle. And so I just lay there crying oh, and feeling sorry for myself. Anybody else around at all? No, I was the last one on the trail, and it was getting rather late, too, and I was very worried. You must have been getting a little panicky at yes, this stage, Yes, I really right? pushed the panic button, and I was <laughs> really afraid. Well, then what happened, honey? Well, I was sitting there feeling very sorry for myself when I saw this young, handsome man come along. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, well, what are you crying about? And I said, oh, I hurt my ankle. I think I broke it. So he said, well, fine thing to do when you're so near the top. So I told him to get the forest ranger to take me down. And he said it was getting so dark he didn't want to leave me. So he practically carried me down. He took you down himself. Well, now, how long did that take to get her down there, Harold? Oh, it took about three hours. Oh, wow. What a way to get acquainted. You were carrying her down the hill. You had your arms around her. What better way? Well, now, Harold, I understand that you've been doing some mountain climbing. And uh, how about telling us about your latest climb while we see some of those pictures that you brought? Okay. Right there. Now, would you explain those to us, please, Harold? Mm-hmm. Certainly. If you can't get your glasses, I'll loan you mine. <laughs> So this is our campsite at uh, the foot of Whitney Portal. Uh, Mount Whitney is the highest mountain in America. There's uh, some of the peaks there. The one in the center is uh, Mount Whitney itself. And there I am at the top. <laughs> it's 14,500 feet. And, uh, well, and there's one of the lakes looking down towards the bottom, towards the campsite. Uh -huh. And there's the actual plaque showing uh, the elevation and so forth, put up by the Forest Service. You took all of these yourself, did you? 
Very uh, good, Harold. Mm -hmm, Wonderful right. pictures. Well, now, we know that you are also a painter in addition to being an engineer, and we are always very interested in young artistic talent, so we want to see some of the pictures that you've painted. But first, Bob Page wants to get a word in. There's no doubt about it, all these wonderful young couples seem made for each other, and that uh, applies to another important couple that I know. White wall tires and new Brillo soap pads. Now, you know how white walls get soiled by road dirt and curb marks. Well, that's the time to hand your husband a Brillo pad. Now, a quick once over, and white walls are showroom bright, spotless, well, just white as new. And uh, here's more about the uh, cleanup jobs that Brillo does so very well. Oh, look at that. Half the food goes in his mouth and half on the floor. And when that food hardens, it's not going to be easy to get it off unless you have new Brillo soap pads on hand to help you. These hardworking pads are stronger, tighter knit, so they clean faster, last longer. Just see how Brillo lifts off that dried on food quickly and easily. Now a quick wipe and your linoleum is clean and sparkling again. Brillo soap pads make short work out of this refrigerator job. These sturdy metal fiber pads quickly take off stains and harden food spills. Leave your refrigerator rack clean and fresh smelling again. Next, let's put a Brillo soap pad to work on that stove grate. In no time at all, that sticky, burnt-on food will loosen right up. All the grease just melts away. Now for a quick rinsing, and here's your grate spotlessly clean in only a few seconds. Yes, you'll find dozens of ways to brighten your home, lighten your work with new Brillo soap pads. So get the new red Brillo box today in this handy five-pad pack or twice as many pads plus two extra pads in the big 12 Brillo box. Twelve pads in all. Remember, you get twice the shine in half the time with new Brillo soap pads. Harold, tell us a little about these paintings of yours, will you? Okay, I'd be glad to. This is uh, old Ironsides. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, actually, I'm a do-it-yourself fan, and uh, can't think of any better way to cover up cracks in the wall. Than <laughs> put a I there. think you're being much too <laughs> modest, my boy. You have a very interesting and bold stroke here, and I can see that you certainly have a future. Do you plan to uh, continue your painting as a hobby? Uh, as a hobby, whenever I have time, sure. Mm -hmm. This is very interesting. Uh, this is just a mountain scene. Mountain pastoral. Mm -hmm. Very, very nice. And I find this extremely interesting, Harold. Mm -hmm. well, still, still life. life. Very, very well done, my boy. Mm -hmm. I guess I uh, some you have comes uh, the wine or something. Yeah. <laughs> Considerable talent. Now, uh, if you come with me over here, okay, this way. We think that you should uh, continue your art. So we have here for you from Grumbacher, makers of the very, very finest in the world in paints and brushes. Here's a complete fitted set. Oh, that's very the nice. Brushes, the paints, oils, and of course, you know, mm -hmm. when it's Grumbacher, it is the very finest. Mm -hmm. Now, here's something you're going to find extremely interesting. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's uh, from the World Art Series, published by the New York Graphic Society of Greenwich, Connecticut. These magnificent books. Of course, these are published in cooperation with UNESCO. And uh, they're world art masterpieces, and they certainly should inspire you to paint. Look here. Aren't mm. these fantastic? I've always wanted something like this. Oh, they're, they're really remarkable. Let me check this other one here. I know that there's... A a very interesting one. Oh, this should pick up beautifully on the camera. That ought to inspire you, my lad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Isn't that magnificent? Mm -hmm, it's wonderful. Well, I figured that these would make you very happy. Now let's go over here and talk to Honey for a second, shall we? Okay. Honey, I want to find out uh, your plans for the future. Are you going to continue to work after you're married? Yes, both Harold and I will work because we're mm -hmm. still going to evening school. Well, now, what about these courses that you were talking about? Uh, what are you going to be studying? Well, I'm an English major, but primarily I'm interested in playwriting and also television writing. Uh-huh. If any producers are interested. But I have a few <laughs> thousand television... She not only wants to get married, <laughs> she wants to plug her possibilities as a writer. Oh, you're wonderful. 
That's my ultimate goal, though. Now, what about this Toastmistress Club that uh, we uh, noticed you uh, mentioned in your application? What is that? Well, it's a group of young businesswomen. Uh, we used to uh, have dances on Friday night. Now we changed it, since most of us are married and engaged, to uh, have a meeting at uh, someone's house or else at a hotel, and we discuss uh, topics, uh, current topics, and it gives us a chance to do a lot of talking. Which you enjoy. Which huh? we enjoy, yes. <laughs> well, and I'll tell you what I want you to do. I want you to think about a one-minute extemporaneous talk oh, on no. why you want to marry Harold Greer. <laughs> I'm going to give you a little bit of time to think about it, and while you're doing that, we're going to listen to this special message. Just a little squirt of Windex gets glass so clean, it seems to disappear. Uh-huh. Glass so clean, it seems to disappear. That's because there's no dirt-catching film when you use Windex. Just watch. When you clean one side of a window with Windex, the other side with a foamy cleaner, then leave the window for a day or so, this happens. The glass cleaned with a foamy cleaner gets dirty. That quick. Because most foamy cleaners leave a film that catches dust and dirt. But with Windex, glass stays clean. You see, there's no film. That means nothing on the glass to catch dirt. That's why with Windex, glass stays cleaner longer. Remember, only Windex gets glass so clean it seems to disappear. Try Windex soon. Well, honey, you say you enjoy talking. You all ready with your speech? Well, I'd like to marry Harold Greer because I love him and I love his wonderful family. And we have so much fun together and we have a wonderful past and a wonderful present and I'm sure we'll have an even better future. Well, that's very well spoken. However, I thought that uh, with your ability to talk that you'd be able to extend <laughs> it even beyond that. <laughs> However, oh, that's <laughs> certainly sufficient, my Thank dear. Thank you, Bob. And uh, what do you think about that speech, Harold? Well, I think that's a good, good reason. Very good speech. You sure <laughs> like to be called wonderful, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I want you to see this lovely keepsake wedding ring that you're going to be oh, wearing in a few minutes. Oh, it's beautiful. Isn't it charming? Oh, it's lovely. Well, now, uh, if time for your wedding grows near, I think it'd be a very, very good idea to uh, go to the chapel where Byron Palmer is going to sing Thine Alone. <laughs> portion of Bride and Groom has been brought to you by the makers of New Brillo Soap Pads, the greatest cleaner shine of all time. We'll take a moment now to pause for station identification. 
Nat King Cole, followed by George Goble in color, premiere tonight. The honor of your presence is requested at the wedding of Miss Honey Rona Dubin to Mr. Harold Greer. The wedding ceremony will be performed by the Reverend Lester L. Hawes of the First Methodist Church of Yonkers. The best man is George Greer, the brother of the groom. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here in the sight of God and in the presence of these witnesses to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony, which is an honorable estate, instituted of God and signifying unto us the mystical union which exists between Christ and his church. I require and charge you both as you stand in the presence of God to remember that love and loyalty alone will avail as the foundation of a happy and enduring home. No other human ties are more tender, no other vows more sacred than those you now assume. If these solemn vows be kept inviolate, and if steadfastly you endeavor to do the will of your heavenly Father, your life will be full of joy, and the home which you are establishing will abide in peace. Harold, wilt thou have this woman to be thy wedded wife, to live together in the holy estate of matrimony? Wilt thou love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all other, keep thee only unto her so long as ye both shall live? I will. Honey Rona, wilt thou have this man to be thy wedded husband? to live together in the holy estate of matrimony? Wilt thou love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all other, keep thee only unto him so long as ye both shall live? I will. Repeat after me. I, Harold, take thee, honey, Rona. I, Harold, take thee, honey, Rona. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold to have and to hold from this day forward from this day forward for better for worse for better for worse for richer for poorer for richer for poorer in sickness and in health in sickness and in health to love and to cherish to love and to cherish till death us do part till death us do part according to God's holy ordinance according to God's holy ordinance and thereto I pray thee my troth and thereto I pray thee my betrothed repeat after me I honey Rona take thee herald I, honey, Rona, take thee, Harold. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto I plight thee my troth. And thereto I plight thee my troth. The wedding ring is the outward and visible sign of an inward and spiritual bond that unites two loyal hearts. 
in endless love. The ring, O oh God, we ask thy blessing upon, that he who gives it and she who wears it may abide forever in thy peace and continue in thy favor through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In token and pledge. In token and pledge. Of the vow between us made. The vow between us made. With this ring I thee wed. With this ring I thee wed. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. O eternal God, creator and preserver of all mankind, giver of all spiritual grace, the author of everlasting life, send thy blessing upon this man and this woman whom we bless in thy name, that they may surely perform and keep the vow and covenant between them made, and may ever remain in perfect love and peace together, and live according to thy law, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. For as much as Harold and Honey Rona have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God in this company and thereto have pledged their troth each to the other and have declared the same by joining hands and by giving and receiving a ring, I pronounce that they are husband and wife together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God hath joined together, let not man put asunder. Amen. Join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless, preserve, and keep you. The Lord graciously with his favor look upon you and so fill you with all spiritual benediction and love that you may so live together in this life that in the world to come you may have life everlasting. Amen. Wednesday night on NBC means wagon train, father knows best, and this is your life. Ricardo Montalban stars as a young Creole who kills a man and then attempts to join the wagon train in his escape. Ward Bond as wagon master must now call the turn which could destroy the men and cargo in his charge in this exciting drama on wagon train. Now, here is this week's mystery guest on This Is Your Life from Hollywood. You've seen him many times. Now join him with Ralph Edwards in This Is Your Life. And now... <laughs> Is that Mommy and Daddy? Boy, and they call that the good old days. We ever dressed like that, we had to move out of town. Don't you believe it? We were pretty hep in those good old days, weren't we, Jim? Probably just as hep as Betty and Bud think they are now. In what will soon be their good old days. Won't you please join us and see for yourself if Father Knows Best every week on most NBC stations. Toast to Honey and Harold, now husband and wife. Here's uh, good luck, good health, and a long, happy life. Very nicely done, Bob. We'll all drink to that. And now, let's get that first exciting look at your wedding presents. Will you come with me? Go right ahead there, Honey and Harold. And first of all, in that spectacular array of gifts, 
you'll find this beautiful Reed and Barton sterling silverware, the traditional gift for a wedding couple. And for honey, this train case full of the new Tangy cosmetics, enough to last you for two full years. And now, Bob, take it away. Light. Going up. Right through there, really nice. and don't step on her gown this time. <laughs> Keep on going right down to the end there. You too. Mm -hmm. Right on down to the end, and watch your eyes pop, because for each of you, we have a complete set of Samsonite ultralight luggage, and this will last you a lifetime. And you will each wear a beautiful gold watch by the Lewis Watch Company of Fifth Avenue. And for the bride, we have right here, honey, Two oh. beautiful garland sweaters of Tycora. Tycora oh, sweaters beautiful. washed like a dream. Isn't that lovely? Oh, beautiful. And for you, honey, My Sin Perfume by Lanvan. Oh. And here's something you're both going to love to listen to. It's this RCA Victor high fidelity record player for hours oh. of music. <laughs> and here are those hours of music. It's the library of RCA Camden Records. Now, here's a real time saver for any bride. It's Classen Can Electric, the first fully electric can opener for home use. And for entertaining, you can't beat this handsome, brass-finished Gallo roll cart with two hammered glass shells. It's perfect for serving coffee. <laughs> and for preparing food, this exciting new tone oh. built-in food center containing a meat grinder, a mixer, a blender, a sharpener, oh. and a juicer. It just does everything. And when the food's prepared, you're going to cook it on this beautiful oh. Tappan Range, America's yes. most wanted range. Nothing cooks like a Tappan, and you will certainly yes. enjoy it. And also for your kitchen, come this way, this 11 cubic foot Westinghouse refrigerator with 72 pound frozen food storage. And in this gleaming Westinghouse, you find a marvelous assortment of snow crop, fresh frozen oh, yeah. foods, the best you've ever tasted. Mm. Oh, and nice. look here, this fine expand -o table by Saginaw is gonna look lovely in your living room because in seconds it converts to a full-size dining table. goes out even farther than that. You come back in this way, children, and you can choose your Saginaw in walnuts or in limed oak. And for the perfect beginning for your living room, a tower aisle rug by Stephen Leadham Carpets, the finest all-wool yarn in beautiful decorator colors. Well, I think that ought to get you off to a good start so you can set up housekeeping, huh? Mm -hmm. Wonderful, Bob. Just wonderful. You're happy. Oh, We're really? Happy happiest day of my mm -hmm. life. And now Byron's going to make you even happier because he's going to tell you about your honeymoon vacation. Bye. Oh, well. Yes, indeed, Bob. Well, honey and Harold, you'll set off in a magnificent 1957 Pontiac Star Chief Catalina, America's number one road car. Your destination is the luxurious Chalfont Haddon Hall Hotel in Atlantic City, New Jersey, where you'll be seeing this lovely view from your balcony. Your host will be Alexander Williamson, who will be happy to introduce you to such Atlantic City pastimes as bicycling on the famous boardwalk, which runs right past the Chalfont Haddon Hall. Or you might prefer water skiing or swimming in the surf or simply sunning on the beautiful beach that's right outside your door. And as the song says, on the boardwalk in Atlantic City, life will be peaches and cream. And may I add, most especially so, at the Chalfont Haddon Hall. Then back to New York again in your handsome Pontiac with happy memories to last you a lifetime. And of course, you'll return home to Los Angeles, California on Trans World Airlines, who are introducing the newest and most luxurious airplane in the sky, the jet stream. And one more present, a hamper of Moet and Chandon French champagne from this oh. and you can this to celebrate your first anniversary, the same style that you're celebrating it today. Bye, folks. Join us tomorrow on Bride and Groom. We'd like to thank these people who helped to make this a happy wedding day. Bridal gown by the House of Bianchi, Men's After Six Formal Wear by Rudolf Kerr. Accommodations for our special guest, courtesy of the Hotel Manga Windsor. Flowers by Floral Telegraph Delivery Association.